Hey everyone, it's your girl Kano back at it again with another video. I just want to say this is the start of a new adventure for me. I'm going to be doing my own videos and adding them to the Kano show, the series version. So, I'm here to talk about the video that's been streaming since last night, the Hurt Bee video. I just want to say that I relate to everyone's comments and I definitely relate to the girl. Like, nobody wants to be cheated on. And everybody knows how it feels to be cheated on and look at that person in the face knowing that they do not care knowing that they did knowing that they had no remorse and it's just kind of saddens saddens the person that gets cheated on because they feel like it's their fault they feel like they've tried everything they could to make this person happy to make this person love them but honestly you can't force anybody to love you like you're going to be there for you a cheater's going to cheat and somebody that's going to be faithful is going to be faithful because that's what they want to do. You can't force anybody to do anything. And just like a man wants a woman to do the same thing, you can't force a woman to do that either. And to people that to people that get cheated on, don't go looking for closure, honestly. Because looking for closure is just wanting to get an answer that you want or getting an apology that you may never get. So you have to try to move on in ways that are... Teach you how to love yourself. Teach you how to get over things better. Teach you to understand why certain things happen. And so the person that cheats, don't go... If you if you know that you're, you're going to cheat and if you know that, that you're not going to get any better, then there's no need to keep going back to that person thinking that you can commit or trying to make yourself feel ready to commit. If you're not ready, then you're not ready. It's okay to date, but it's not okay to go around hurting people because what goes around comes around. Karma is a bitch, and that's a, that's a fact. Like... So, from a person that has been cheated on, it's not a good feeling at all. I was depressed. I felt lonely. I felt rejected. I felt I, I felt like nobody wanted me. I felt like you know, I could never forgive that person. But I had to take it all in and just forgive them. Because if I didn't forgive them, to this day, I would be angry. So, it was like you had to forgive that person. They cheated on you because you're going to keep living in this angry ball, you're not going to want to love anybody else. You're going to want to be petty. You're going to want to go out your way to see what they're doing. What they're doing don't matter. You, you you shouldn't live your life wanting to hate them. You just have to forgive them and understand it happened for a reason. And you got to learn how to love yourself. And back to the person that cheats. And to the person that cheats, an apology, an apology can do. Telling them that, they, that you aren't ready can do. Will help in some way. But... All in all, you should have been honest from the rip. Because if you're not honest, then you're just going to be living your life in a lie. Trying to force yourself to like this person or love this person. So, I just, just want to say that that Hurt Bay video really touched a lot of hearts and it definitely touched mine. And also, as I said on my, said on my Snapchat, that the best revenge is success. Going out your way to hurt them back ain't going to make nothing nothing better it's just gonna make the situation worse so if you've been cheated on move on if you did the cheating you need to move on too go your separate ways and live your lives you never know what can happen in the end but as i said i hope that video touched a lot of people and that people can understand and uh, understand the effects of what cheating can do and the effects of what can happen to to a cheater I just want people to understand the aspect. It's not about who was right or wrong. It's about understanding the effects. So, I hope everybody liked this video. Make sure you comment, share. And if you relate, you know, just let me know. Like, I hope everybody, you know, understands where I'm coming from. Like, all you got to do is just pick your head up and keep it moving. Because going back to the same shit that hurt you ain't going to make nothing. It's not going to make nothing better, as I said. So, follow me on the gram. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Twitter. The Kenlo Show. And I hope everybody can relate to this video.